Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about skewness. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Skewness is one of the measures in order for us to describe a certain data set. Specifically, it involves describing the data set based on symmetry, whether symmetry is present or absent in a certain data set. Coefficient of skewness is computed using this formula. Regardless if the data set is grouped or ungrouped, we will use this formula. We have SK or the skewness is equal to 3 times the quantity of the mean minus median, and then that product is divided by the standard deviation. After computing, we will be interpreting the number or the coefficient of skewness that we arrived at using this guide. So there are three different types of skewness based on the coefficient of skewness that you have computed. So we have the normal distribution. We can say that a certain data set is normally distributed if the skewness is equal to zero and it means that the mean is equal to the median. However, if we have a negatively skewed distribution or skewed to the left, we can say that the skewness is actually less than zero and the mean is less than the median. However, we also have positively skewed distribution or a distribution that is skewed to the right. In this case, we have a skewness of greater than zero and the mean is greater than the median. To illustrate further, we have this three pictures of the different distribution based on skewness. So if you may notice for the normal distribution, the mean, median, and mode are all in the center. They are equal to each other and it is symmetrical. The distribution is symmetrical along this mean, median, and mode, meaning the left side mirrors the right side of this distribution. However, for a negatively skewed distribution, we can see a small portion on the left side and a bigger portion on the right side of the mean. It means that we have low frequency for the low scores and high frequency for the high scores. To interpret this further in the context of scores of students in a certain examination, this means that a negatively skewed distribution tells you there are more students who got higher scores than the students who got the lower scores. And the opposite of this negatively skewed is the positively skewed, wherein there are more students who got low scores than the number of students who got high scores. This part, the low part, regardless if it is on the right or on the left, we will call that the tail. The position of the tail tells us to what direction that distribution is skewed. If the tail is found on the left side, therefore that is skewed to the left. However, if the tail is on the right side, then the distribution is skewed to the right. So to better understand, let's have the following examples. We have to solve for the coefficient of skewness and interpret whether the given data set is normally distributed, skewed to the left or skewed to the right. We have this data set 56, 35, 12, 20, 14, 28, and 15. Previously in our discussions about central tendency and variation, we have identified that its mean is 25.71, its median is 20, and its standard deviation is 15.71. You may check the videos that we had before to recall how we are computing the mean, median, and standard deviation. So we will use the formula. We have SK equals 3, open parenthesis, mean minus median over the standard deviation. Our mean is 25.71 minus the median of 20, and the standard deviation is 15.71. So basically, we are just substituting the values and then solving the resulting expression. So we have here. 3, open parenthesis, 25.71 minus 20 will result to 5.71, and then this is still 15.71. Multiplying the two numbers in the numerator, we will arrive with 17.13. 
And dividing that by 15.71, we will get 1.09. So remember that we will round off the value to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, we have 1.09 as the skewness or the coefficient of skewness for this first example. And we have to interpret this further since we have a value of 1.09 and obviously that is greater than 0, meaning this data set is skewed to the right. Or we can also write here positively skewed. Next, we go to the second example. We have 19, 35, 26, 50, and 0. And also, previously, we have identified its mean, median, and standard deviation as these values. I challenge you to pause this video for a while and solve for the coefficient of skewness. Afterwards, interpret it. And then after a few seconds, we will resume to check if your answer is correct. Okay, so we will still use SK, 3 times mean minus median over the standard deviation. So we have the mean of 26, median is also 26, Ooh, and this is 18.59. Notice that 26 minus 26 will result to 0. The numerator, when multiplied to 0, will become 0. And the answer to this fraction is also 0. Therefore, our SK is 0. And since it is exactly equal to 0, we can say that this distribution is normal distribution. Recall the definition of the three kinds of skewness that we have mentioned a while ago. If the mean and the median are equal to each other, then that is a normal distribution. However, if the mean is greater than the median, we can say that the resulting answer should be skewed to the right and that confirms our answer. However, if we have a median that is greater than the mean, then that is a distribution which is negatively skewed. So that's it for the different interpretation of skewness and how we are actually computing the coefficient of skewness. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.